paint all the things. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmasters vlog for the Warhammer 4000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to another painting guide. Uh, this is number 14 in my series of painting guides. And today it is the 19th of October 2013. Today I'm gonna be diving into a <coughs> another new territory and today I'm gonna be painting word bearers and not any kind of word bearers. Uh, no, I'm actually gonna be doing possessed word bearers. So let's check out what I have at my disposal. As you can see here I have a possessed arm and possessed legs. Upper body is from a regular Chaos Space Marine box. His right arm is from uh, the new Chaos Raptors box, and the head is also fully possessed together with the backpack, as you can see here. And for the base, I'm actually going to be using this old thing which I've stolen from my former Imperial Guard um, Guardsman, my former Imperial Guardsman. And the second one we see is the same formula, Chaos Raptor, uh, Possessed, Possessed, Regular, Chaos, uh, Chaos Space Marine Box, Possessed and Possessed. And these will actually be uh, based upon the Gal of Warback from the first Heretic written by Harum Dunsky Bowden. And uh, this in particular will be based upon uh, Agile Tal, which is described as having wings uh, due to his demonic possession. I'm not entirely certain on which character he will be based upon, but uh, that's not important right now. Right now we're going to be diving into what we're going to be doing. And since this, this is word bearers, this will be a bit different from my previous painting guides. So for the armor, um, if you've seen many of the newer editions of the word bearers, they look very light, light reddish in their <coughs> tone and I don't really like that. If you look at um, the old pictures as I'm gonna be displaying now Yeah, as you notice though, that red color is kind of more darker red than these type of uh, word bears as you will see now. So I prefer the old red dark color. And uh, if you saw my episode 12 where I did my Angron, uh, Angron, Primark Angron, you saw that there was, some, there was a word bearer on that platform. And I'm gonna be doing that same type. So for the armor, I'm gonna be using red gore. I'm not sure the new color equivalents, but that's, that's the color which I'm gonna be using on the main armor. It's slightly difficult showing on these uh, possessed since the flesh and the armor intertwine with each other, but you will see in the pictures after this uh, step is done. Um, and after that we're going to be painting this, the, the, the skin of these uh, possessed. And if you see it, it, in these examples from the White Dwarf newspaper, Uh, you see that the tone is a bit darker than than what I would prefer because when I'm uh, when I'm looking at word bearers, I'm thinking more in this type of direction when I see them. Yeah. 
So as a, for a foundation for that type of uh, painting, I'm gonna be using ro uh, bleached bone as a base, and I'm mostly gonna be painting perhaps on the wings and on the, the skin parts. And after that, uh, I'm gonna be starting out with painting the trimmings. And for a, for a change, I'm actually not gonna be using me me gun metal <coughs> on these parts. I'm actually gonna be using Abaddon Black as a base and then I'm gonna be using a color which I don't know what it's called nowadays but it used to be called Chain Mail. I don't have it at my disposal right now I'm actually gonna be going through to the store after this and try and acquire it but that's um, yeah so that that color will end up in the next part so this is step one and um, uh, so what I'm going to be doing right now is that I'm going to be starting out red gore for, uh, for the armor, bleach bone for the skin parts and abdomen black as a foundation base on the trimmings. Uh, this uh, step has been recorded on the 19th of, of October 2013. So yeah, so now you know what you're going to be doing for step 2 or 1, so see you all in that step. Hello and welcome back to step 2 of this painting guide. Today it is the 20th of October 2013. So let's check out what we have been doing with the models. <coughs> Uh, as you can see, the painting is not perfect. I know there's red colors where it's supposed to be black, and there is black color where it's supposed to be red. But I will fix that up for the next <coughs> for the next step. This is just so you know what you should be doing, and then you, I'm trying to show you some kind of results. And uh, what you're gonna be doing now is that you're gonna be painting. Goblin Green uh, on their islands, as you can see here and here. And I think you're also going to be painting it uh, on this small tube area here. Uh, after that, you're going to be using Evil Sun Scarlet. For that, you're most, I'm going to be using it on the wings, where you see the white areas. I'm going to be painting that in Evil Sun Scarlet then. Uh, and after that, uh, we're going to be dry brushing with Lead Belcher, as you can see here. And that's what we're going to be painting mostly on the backpacks, as you can see here. And here. And here. And in between joints, as you can see here. Here. Yeah. Uh, in, the, in between the armor parts. And after that, where you're supposed to be using the, the paint which I mentioned in step one, which happens to be chain mail. I found out what the actual color is and it's called Iron Breaker. Uh, I'm gonna go and try and get it tomorrow, but uh, since I don't have it right now, I can't show you the actual color. But uh, that uh, Iron Breaker, you will be dry brushing on the trimmings all over the models, like where the, all the areas where I've painted black, you're gonna be dry brushing with chain nail. And then we come to the last part, which happens to be the pistols. Um, as, as you see, there's some areas left unpainted. Uh, I looked through old images, and you're supposed to be painting those parts in black. So I'm gonna be reusing Abaddon Black again, and then I'm gonna be paint, uh, highlighting the edges with ceramite, my ceramite white. 
So first Goblin Green for the Eye Lenses, Evil Sun's Red, Evil Sun's Scarlet for the, the wings on the outer areas where it's left unpainted. That belt shield you're going to be using on the backpacks and uh, between armor joints. And I think you're going to be using it on the gun as well, I'm not certain so far. Then you're supposed to use Iron Breaker, the old chain main blade, and that's where you're going to be dry brushing on the trimmings. And lastly you're going to be painting a button black on the areas of the weapons which have so far yet, yet not been used. And then you highlight the edges with ceramite white. So yes, now you know what you're going to be doing for the next step one, so see you all in that step.